significant job to do today with a significant opportunity to do my head in which is putting the cornice back up or putting new cornice up getting miters <coughs> miters are not easy at the f in in any circumstance but try and do a mitre on a cornice with that curve in it I think there's going to be a huge hole that I need to pack with cement but I think that's a legitimate thing to do anyway but anywho I've cut my first piece of corners and uh, I'm mixing up my cement in the sink because there's also a high risk of spilling it on carpet. Maybe the title of this video should be man who doesn't know what he's doing doing something that needs to be done properly anyway crack on just get on with it another thing about this job is the chalkiness is getting everywhere making a mess the chalk from the Buttery consistency, that's what the packet said. I'm also regretting that I didn't buy a liquid nails fast grab because I didn't see that until after I had bought this stuff. this job of do my head in the mitres in particular already I've noticed this is absolutely wrong ran the wrong way and the thing is I had it cut the other way first but thought for some reason because I'm an idiot that it was wrong that way so I changed it only to discover it's wrong. So what I'm going to do is cut that corner off and then patch it as best I can and with the plaster etc it should be okay in the end. there is the edge of the board so I won't dig into that but I'm pretty happy with that there now paint over that to barely notice it um, this tool uh, Mike Hughes gave me this um, and a couple of other tools but this is an orbital sander on an angle grinder and it's a bit flexible and small good so there I was motoring along getting a heap done off camera I was real pleased with myself except I'm knackered my back's broken 
and it's about anyway it's about 7 30 in the evening now and i got heaps done ashling cooked party pies so i ate on the run and even just kept working through and i was real pleased with my progress until until disaster it's a disaster in terms of my layout and design i deliberately left this i put this panel here so that you wouldn't see all the clothes that are behind it so when you walk in you see a nice vanity desk there that'll be shoes and jewelry perhaps so it's kind of unusual so all the clothes would be hanging here and the, the idea was that when you walk through the bedroom um, you wouldn't be shown you wouldn't see the clutter of clothes hanging in the wardrobe until you came right round here but then the disaster that struck me a vanity desk needs a mirror doesn't it and I was pleased about this mirror too. I've had this for years out in my shed as one of those, it'll come in handy for something someday. And it turned out to be perfect fit for this little desk. But then the planning disaster is when you're walking through the bedroom, you can see the whole wardrobe in the mirror. Ashling came up with the idea, which is a good one, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the mirror there and put two little shutters on it, like doors, to hide it. Rosie's home and she knows there's something to find, but she doesn't know what it is yet. So I'm leading the way to turn the lights on and stuff and make sure I get initial reactions. Oh my God! What have you done? Wow! Jeez! Oh my God, Brian, that's fabulous! It's kind of weird, <laughs> but it's, that's pretty good. Wow, do you, oh, I'm dizzy. You've been busy, haven't you? Ah, oh, jeepers. It turns, Mum. Wow, it turns. I listen to the dogs barking. Wow, that's brilliant, Brian. Crikey. <coughs> So you just took that mirror from there and put it in the back. Wow. That probably need, what's this for makeup <laughs> that I never wear? See if, if you ever need to do makeup. Wow. That's very, very good, Brian. Very impressed. We're not moving now, you know that. <laughs> you built a Damn, wardrobe. backfired. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Right, are these easy sliding drawers? Uh. Wow. They're not self-close. That's a thing for future. They are self-close. Oh. If you push them around. Huh? <laughs> yeah, but you know the way. No, but that's this is <clears throat> Yeah, that's that's oh, well. protruding there a bit. You can shave that off. Ugh. Actually, wow. I didn't test them after I put that <laughs> strip on. <laughs> yeah, well, see, look here. Uh -huh. That'll be easy. You just shave it off. But do you like the knobs? I'll... Yeah. I chose the knobs. You chose the knobs. <laughs> wow. So you're not, this is all just mine. <laughs> Not for you at all. So there you go. That was a big project. 
Uh, I think it came in around about $1,600 after all the painting and the vinyl floor and everything completely finished about $1,600. Um, I'm quite pleased with the result. More importantly Rosie is pleased with the result. Um, I fixed up the little glitchy things that we found. Everything works as it should now. Um, there's six drawers. Initially in my plan there was going to be open shelves at the back there but I put drawers in them eventually. Uh, little sensor lights in here. There's one under there and two up high. Rosie gave it the big thumbs up. In fact she said to me several times since have I told you how much I love my wardrobe and I said no dear tell me how much you love your wardrobe <laughs> but yeah it was a big job I think one of the flaws in my in the whole process was a I thought she was gone for six weeks and it was only five and B I sort of eased into it and then had a panic at the end so yeah I should have planned that a bit better but it's done now and everybody's happy so thanks for watching uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, tune in for the next shenanigans I get up to which won't be as big and impressive as this one so yeah thanks for watching catch you